Well, YouTube slime queen Karina Garcia presents a really fun project. Get ready to go on a colorful adventure of following three friends as they run their very own business. From the mind of the YouTube slime queen, Karina is actually here today to tell us about her new project, Slime Shop. Hey, Karina. Hi, thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Let's talk about how did the idea for you to even create Slime Shop, how did that come about? So, you know, I've been doing slime for years now. I've been creating content around slime since 2015. And I had my slime recipe books, but I thought, why not write an actual graphic novel? So um, it's funny how it all started. You know, I wrote, I literally opened up my phone in my notes and I wrote this whole storyline and we pitched it to our publishers and we partnered with an amazing writer and illustrator and here is Slime Shop. I'm so happy with how it came out. It's, it's such a fun storyline for the kids. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what did you enjoy most about being able to bring these characters to life? I think it's just really, you know, the creativity and just being able to write a fictional story and, you know, even like the characters, for example, you know, um, it's about a slime shop and, you know, I'm, I guess like the slime queen, like people call me, but me, myself, I'm not actually in the book. Um, so it was fun just coming out with like these characters and all these slimes, having them have like all these personalities. And it was fun adding like the drama in there. Cause you know, there's like a villain as well and all. It was so, so much fun creating something like this. I've never done a fictional story. So it was so much fun. I, I hope that this becomes a series one day. Cause it was, it was a blast. And you've definitely tapped into a great market here, Karina, because you've got graphic novels, which a lot of uh, young readers love. I know my 10-year-old loves graphic novels. And then Slime, which has been very popular over the past couple of years. So you've tapped into uh, the right market here with, with your new project. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really excited to get my foot in that, you know, in books. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I wrote a book? It's, it's just so crazy. And I'm excited to hopefully write more. So exciting stuff. Yes. Give us a little bit of an overview about what Slime Shop is about. We know that uh, three friends open a business and then what else happens? Yeah, so three friends open a slime business and when the kids leave, they don't know this, but the slimes actually come to life. And there's a slime, Boris, who is one of the older slimes, and he's telling all the new slimes like, hey, they're just going to make you guys and they're just going to ship you to who knows where, you know, and they're like, no, you're crazy. What are you talking about? So then he goes a little crazy and starts eating the slimes and they become zombies. And there's like this whole quest that the uh, slimes have to go on to try to save the day. And it's this whole thing. It's just it's such a fun it's a fun storyline. And there's a happy <laughs> ending, too. So, OK, good, because you said zombies and I was like, uh oh. We're, we're going to be in trouble here. But I love that, again, you've tapped into the <laughs> yeah. right market here. You've got an element of fun, creativity. Kiddos love slime and graphic novels. Plus, add some zombie in their action. What do you think about that, Clint? This is definitely a book I would have read as a I'm girl. intrigued. I'm ready for the film adaptation of this. Oh. Yeah, let's, let's, let's get from the slime to the books to the screen, <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very, very fun. Karina, keep us posted if you decide to take this to the big or the small screen. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, congrats on your new book. It looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today, Karina. <laughs>